Hey there folks, in today's video I just want to talk to you about the extreme importance of shutting off your outside water faucet during winter when you live in colder weather climates. Now before we do that, I just want to show you this tag here that comes on the faucet when you buy it. Now never believe this term here, non-freeze wall hydrant. It will still freeze, that's very misleading. I'm going to contact the supplier of this to see if we can have that removed. And if we look at the instructions, it may be hard to see on camera, but it says to avoid damage from freezing, detach hose after use, which means the outside faucet here, after you're done with it in the winter, just take your hose off here. It doesn't actually refer to anything shutting off your water inside the house, which you should do. And to show you why it is extremely important, here we have the old faucet that we just took off from our basement. And if you look right here, it's the exact same model. There's the ends of it. You can see the comparison, how much it's swollen. So it actually froze up and swelled. And right there is a nice, healthy split. And our solder actually held up quite nicely. I was quite surprised, but it actually blew right there. Now the stopper, we turned on the water on the shutoff valve over here but the stopper inside of the faucet actually kept the water held back from the split. However, two weeks later, I went to do some cleaning outside, turned the faucet on, and my wife informed me that there was a waterfall coming down our basement wall and I had to run downstairs and shut all the water off. So just make sure, never follow this tag. You can see this is the exact same one, non-freeze wall hydrant. When it comes winter time, when you're approaching the five degrees Celsius or lower, shut off your valve on the inside of the house and drain all the water out of this faucet appropriately, just to make sure you stay safe and don't swell up and burst your pipes in the winter time. So that's all there is to this one, folks. Hopefully you found this helpful. And as always, please don't forget to like and subscribe.